Hi and welcome to my Python YouTube channel. It's awesome to have you here. If you like this video, a thumbs up would be great. And make sure to subscribe for future videos. I also have a blog at prospercoder.com with lots of cool stuff, so feel free to check it out. In the previous part of the Panda 3D series, we exported the building model to the GLTF format. In this part, we load the model in Panda 3D. So, without further ado, open the project folder in Visual Studio Code or any other editor of your choice. Here you can see all the folders and files that are in your project folder. For example, we have the models folder with our text folder with the textures and our building bin, building blend, building GLTF files, the textures, and here is the test.py file that we created before. Now, here I double click, here I double clicked on the test.py file to open it, and here you can see it. Now, as you look at this class, Slugris 3D, you can see that most of this code is configuration code. So, for clarity's sake, let's move the configuration code to a myconfig.prc file. So, let's create a file over here, click over here, and name it myconfig.prc. Enter to open. Now, Let's type the configuration data here, which is the window title and the window size. Let's hit S to save. We don't need it anymore. And now we have to load this configuration data in this test.py file, so we have to modify it slightly. So first of all, we'll need the load PRC file method. So Let's import it, like so. So we need this to load the configuration file. Now, let's load the configuration file. So let's use this method and pass the path to our file as an argument, like so. Load PRC file, myconfig.prc. So here we're loading this configuration data. And now we can remove all this configuration data from the Slugris 3D class. So, delete. Now, if you run the app now, you will see just the same window, gray window. And here we have the title, which was set correctly using this configuration file. And now, let's finally have a look at our model. Now, Panda 3D doesn't handle GLTF files out of the box. We have to install the Panda 3D GLTF utility. You will find it on this page, github.com Oguri Panda 3D GLTF. You can use pip to install the Panda 3D GLTF package. So, this is the correct syntax. pip install Panda 3D GLTF. Well, I'm not going to do this because I already installed Panda 3D GLTF on my machine. Now, before we load the model in Panda 3D, we need another utility. So let's install it too. The other utility is Panda 3D Simple PBR. You can find it here on this page. GitHub.com Maguri Panda 3D Simple PBR. And you can also install it using pip. So in your terminal, you just have to type pip install panda 3D simple PBR. Just like before, I already have this on my computer, so I'm not going to install it now. So with these two utilities installed, we're ready to load our models in panda 3D. Let's go back to our file. Now, in order to load a model, we use the load model method on the Panda 3D built in loader object. So let's do it over here. Let's assign the building model to a variable, self building. 
Here we have the loader built in and the load model method. Now, here we have the path to our building. So models building building.gltf. Now when the model is loaded, it appears at the point 000, so at the same location as the camera. This is why we won't see it unless we move it to a different position. To reposition an object, we use the setPass method and pass the x, y, and z coordinates as arguments to it. Now, let's do it. So let's use the setPass method on the building object. So, setPass, let's move it 50 units into the screen, so on the positive y-axis. And there's one more thing. We're going to talk about it in more detail a bit later, but for now it's enough to say that for a model to be seen at all, it must be parented to another Panda 3D built-in object, render. To do that, we use the reparent to method on the model and pass render as the argument. So, let's parent the building model to render so that we can see it. Reparent to render. Now, as we installed the Panda 3D utility, we automatically added support for GLTF files to the loader object. If you now run the app, you will see the following. So, looks like the model is there, but we don't see the textures. We're going to fix this in a minute, but first try navigating in the game window. Panda 3D automatically enables that. So use the left mouse button to pan, the middle mouse button to orbit, and the right mouse button to zoom in and out. Fine, let's close the window. But what about the textures? In order to see them, we must import simple PBR and then inside the init method of the app class, so the one that inherits from Showbase, we have to call its init method. So init without the underscores. Have a look. First, let's import simple PBR and then inside the init method of this app class, Let's call the init method without underscores. Have a look at this. Now, if we run the app, we should be able to see the fully textured model in the window. And here it is. Now, go ahead and use your mouse buttons to pan, zoom in and out, and orbit. Or like so. Now that we know how to load models in Panda 3D, we'll be testing all our other models right away. Then we can tweak the models if necessary and export them again. In the following parts of this series, we'll have a look at the other models that we need in our game. Okay, that's it for this video. If you like it, a thumbs up would be great. Also, make sure to subscribe for future videos. If you want to leave a comment or ask a question, you're welcome to do so. Thanks for watching.